right, so I think we had some problems with the sound on the last video, but anyway, you can see where we've got to here uh, with uh, my background, and obviously it's, uh, well, maybe it's obvious, but it's got a bit of a hangman thing happening here. Um, it's kind of dried enough so that I can get the next little part in, and then I will kick on with some of the texture. And so there's going to be a, a, lot of, a lot of stenciling coming up shortly here just to bring in some some love to it so anyway let's uh let's just paint in this timber work and uh, continue building it up i think this should be a fun piece so i'll, I'll show you the companion piece at the end of the video uh, seeing where, where it came from and uh, you know, how i got to doing this in the first place try yet but it doesn't really matter because part of the texture okay let's pop over grab my stencils pieces out shortly, but initially I just want an arm bone and a hand, or a sea of hands in the background. Give it, it gives a nice kind of forest effect, it's pretty cool. So, uh, Okay, so uh, in the last video we kind of ran out of juice and uh, I lost the last bit. So uh, you can see here I've finished the 
I guess the sea of hands or the tree, the forest of of skeleton hands. So these are the uh, the two stencils that I use. These are part of a, a I guess an ongoing set that I've been putting together. Um, you know, of, of this reusable skeleton that's been heaps of fun. I've had lots of fun with it, and you'll see them come out again a little bit later for the full skeletons that fill in this blank here. So we've got the hangman going. I'll just what I'll do is I'll just bring you in close here. So you can see the detail here on these uh, hands. It's a really nice effect just to give a real kind of, you know, this forest of screaming hands. It's, uh, yeah, it's nice. It's a good bit of fun. So uh, I'm about ready for the next spot, next section here. And uh, we will set up to start to bring a little bit of color into it. Okie dokie. So, time to have a bit of fun. We're going to bring in some red texture in here, which is going to be a, a combination of a few different pieces. So, let's show you what we're working with. We're going to use a combination of our roses, which you've seen before. Uh, we'll use both of those. And then we'll intersperse them with just a couple of basic little skulls. I like these guys. I mean, they're not they're not perfect, but you know, we cut these all you know on my birthday night. Actually, you know, they all sat around and people cut them out. They're a little bit rough and ready, and they're not perfect, but they've got character. I like them. They're kind of dark and a bit comical as well. You know, um, yeah, I'm not chasing perfection. Anyway, so let's uh, we're going to blaze these in here in red and give ourselves a real nice kind of texture, a combination of skulls and roses, and works really nicely. All right. I think that's going to do it. Alright, I like it. Colour, movement, splash, getting it around, we bring our, our hangman in, and then we're going to bring our reaper in. I'll bleed in some black roses in underneath the reaper, and then I might bring a couple of little other elements going on into the background there. Alright, looking good. Alright, well I think it's time to bring in our little uh, hangman rope. I wasn't really sure what way I was going to go with this, but uh,
think it'll do it actually. I'm not trying to do too much. Just if I sit the head out there, and we'll leave plenty of room for the body. The skull can sit right there. That's all right, I might just put a little bit of black, a little flicks of texture next to it. And no, I think it's all right actually. All right, well, let's uh, let's see how that dries out. Give ourselves a little bit of time for this to chill out, and then I'll start to come in and build in the skeletons here. We've got the letterings coming along the bottom. I'll just let that chill for a bit. And then I think, you know, we'll probably bring in the sickle. Uh, and maybe he'll be pointing, maybe, maybe I'll have him. the lantern that I've got. We'll see. I'm not sure what the, the answer is going to be there yet, but let's just let it go. At the moment it's starting to build up some nice texture. Once that silver and gold stencils come in here, it'll really make the difference. Alright, perfect. Alright, I think we're about ready to go. This episode, not sponsored by Corona. skeleton in here on the silver. Hopefully there's enough contrast but it is what it is. Got the stencils all set up down here ready to go. And we'll do the hanging man in silver. We'll do the reaper in gold. We'll set him aside. Take a little bit more care with these ones because this is the nice little bag of olive oil. I can do a bit more blue plum.
actually just put up. Uh, okay. This is looking alright actually. So that, I'll bring in my other pieces and then I'll put the hands on top. Then come in over the top of that, so I wanted that to do that a little bit.
か。Progress here actually it's starting to come together, so it's uh, dry enough for me to keep going. Uh, so I'm going to bring in the detail here on the gargoyle, on the lantern, bring in the silver for the sigh, and then I'll lay the base of a big gold skull here to fill this space in. And I think actually that's gonna that's gonna really pop. So. Uh, Let's uh, let's get masked up and let's let's crack into it. All right. Let's have a little moonshine first. My own brew. That's another video for another day.
Let's see, once he dries off, might be a bit better. Placement was good. Sensor's getting a little bit tired now, so starting to curl up and there's a little bit of bleed, but overall I think that's uh, that's pretty nice. And this is a play on the 
Marie Antoinette. Let them have their cake. There's another piece I'll show you later. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is the hangman. And cake. That's the answer there. Guy missing a hand and a foot. Gargoyle. Reaper. Not bad. Pretty happy. That's all good. P.S. Uh, kind of changed my mind here. I was going to leave this G A K E not done but i think i might finish it with the white it might stand out quite nicely it might show that it's not done anyway i'm doing it felt like it needs a little something in there bring in a nice little clean white piece i think it would be really nice so nicely so I think I'm just gonna throw a little bit of paint at it little bit of wild and it's fun I love throwing paint cannot lie all right done so there we go uh, we're finished hope you enjoyed watching the video and uh, I enjoyed doing the work and you know please keep supporting the channel hit the like button subscribe and uh, let me know in the comments if you've got any ideas anything you want me to do uh, keen to hear what you've got to say all right thank you